evening to one and all present here. This is Saranya Rajkumar from Kailing, Chennai. So first of all, I would like to thank all the members who have joined today. And today's session, it is going to be an interesting session. So today we are going to talk, many of you would have, uh, would have guessed that what we are going to talk about today. So today we are going to talk about better vision for better life. So definitely you would have guessed. So today again, we are going to talk about the product KIN Nano. So this product, it is being recently launched and this is a rocking product in the market. And even we had many more session about this product. So in the, your vision is our focus. So after attending this session, so it was a really informative session. And after this, attending this session, even uh, as said by Mr. Sridhar R. Bogasami, so even I too bought this uh, Iron Nano, Iron Nano 7. It was really fantastic and it was really, uh, after wearing this, I could see a better result also because as Charles said as a testimony that he used to wear, wear a glass with this, uh, with a frame lens. But now after this, uh, wearing this, even I also, I have left and I started using this Iron Nano 7 only. And so we'll have a very great session today also. So let's every Everybody will have a better vision and we will also have a better life and a healthy life through this Iron Nano. So before going to the session, let me say a few words about Mr. Sridhar R. Mugasami. Uh, sir, he is born and brought up in Madurai. Since from 1989, he was doing training. So last time also he said that he has completed, he is having 34 years experience in training. And he is also an ex-employee in Kaling and he is a musician. And he is also, he is giving a training about technical training about uh, uh, algorithms and programming languages and algorithms. And he is having interest about neuro-linguistic programming and computer and health and many more things like this. So let's, before going to the session, we'll have an introduction video about Mr. Sridhar Arpubasam. Please welcome Mr. Sridhar Arbhuga Sami, our trainer. Hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Um, so I'm audible because I'm able to hear. Yes, uh, yes sir. Okay. Okay, once again, on behalf of uh, Kaling, let me uh, welcome you. And uh, this session has got two names. One given by uh, Kaling, better vision for better vision, okay? Better life, okay? That is one thing which we have in. And I also have given a name, and my name for this particular uh, session is Your Vision is Our Mission, okay? Uh, I named it much earlier, but uh, when I just saw the invitation today, I found that like, there's a different name, so I just added a small slide. Okay, let's begin now. Let's not waste any more time. If somebody is going to give you this glass of water, would you drink it? We will not. Because we know there is a problem in this. So what would we do? We have a solution also for this. So how would we solve this? Either we will use a filter, but of course, or you would boil and drink it. So we would not drink uh, contaminated water because we know and we care. If somebody is going to ask this food to be eaten by you, would you eat? Definitely not. We will not. We would rather use that for a compost. Actually, this is a suggestion for all of us. Do not waste the materials which has been thrown away, instead you can convert that into compost. And why do we don't eat it? Because we know that there is a problem and we care about that. Would you be happy to inhale air from this? The place in case if you're going to walk on the road like this? Definitely not. We would take care of ourselves by closing our nose. Because 
we know it is not good and we care about that if there's going to be a loud noise around your house would you would you live in that place either you would change the place or at least you would use an earplug because we know that is not good and we care about it would you wear dirty clothes definitely not we would wash and wear because we know and we care about that now what about this problem this problem is a serious problem as serious as drinking contaminated water as serious as eating contaminated or spoiled food as serious as inhaling bad air as serious as using dirty clothes but unfortunately we don't bother about this do we think you really care about i because when you have this your eye is going to be the one that is going to get seriously affected seriously affected i did not mention this last time seriously affected and we do not know even if you know we don't know how to care and this session is going to be helpful in making you understand that it is a problem and how do you care about it because our eyes are our windows to our health i am not underestimating this particular statement our eyes are our windows to our health in the last session i had specified we need to drink sunlight through this sunlight is a food as good as water as good as food sunlight is also a very essential food which we have to drink through our eyes so we in kelling we talk about all the pollution air pollution water pollution food pollution noise pollution of course we don't talk much about noise pollution but that also really is a great pollution and the most importantly the light pollution which is actually taking up a lot of focus these days okay so our focus is going to be on light pollution so when we talk about light pollution most of us think that it is only the television it is only the mobile phone or is it the smartphone that is going to be a trouble it is not so right now around me there are three lights which is on two tube lights and one cfl now all these lights are also a major reason for the problem with eyes now let us ask ourselves question how much time are we spending on digital devices as well as how much time are we spending with lights on two questions to you one is digital devices second is how much time are we spending with lights on because human beings are not designed to live with man made light so when you ask this it's going to be really high and would this would this decrease it is not going to decrease for example let us just say when i was young i don't remember being awake beyond 8 o'clock seriously i don't remember being awake beyond 8 o'clock and the amount of lights which would be used in my grandma's place would be very very minimal very very minimal but today you would find that all of us are filling the rooms with tube lights and other lights so this is not going to come down at all in fact you would find that it is going to increase so can we get out of this is it is there any possibility can we go get out of the digital devices not possible can you stop using tube lights not possible it is just not possible because you would find that professionally we need these things and today you would find that profession plays a very very important role profession gives money and we use this for entertainment and we use this for social connectivity so these are the three major things what we use for digital devices i mean i'm giving you an alarm i am not focusing only on digital devices i am talking about light pollution i'm talking about the lights that are being used by us to light our houses and look at the numbers that's very very important how this has been going on i am more interested in the last one that is 4 hour and 20 minutes and the time spent on 
mobile phones and other things average time 4 hour and 10 two different studies i'm just showing you these studies clearly says that every one of the people who are using a mobile phone are actually using more than 4 hours now why is this 4 hours because i'm going to show you reports and those reports clearly talk about being 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 under this lights for more than four hours here you can see before shift and after shift talking about what was the ocular pressure the pressure inside our eyes plays a very important role in terms of I mean the health or the high eye health so you can see there is a tremendous increase between what was available before the shift and after the shift 49 47 11 60 10 and 7 Okay, you can see here, left eye, 49 people have been increasing and right eye for 49 people, they have increased. No change, 11 and 16, decreased 10 and 7. But the majority, you would find that 70% of people who have been working in front of computers, they are having an increase of ocular pressure. Ocular talks about the pressure inside our eyes. And you can see the, the few more set of reports. Before, that is baseline talking about without using one hour of usage of smartphones to four hours of four usage of smartphones. Ocular surface disease index has raised four hours once again. Visual analog scale, fatigue, burning sensation, blurred vision, dryness, dullness, all of them have been remarkably increasing when we use smartphone for four hours. And this is a very, very important thing, reactive oxygen species production. We all know in Kaling, we talk about antioxidants. So before talking about antioxidants, we talk about free radicals. Reactive oxygen species is free radicals. So you can see the amount of free radicals inside our eyes is growing when you go beyond an R. For four hours, you would find that it's a really a high scale. And other than that, the EMF radiation, that is whenever we are using any sort of an electrical and electronic device. Look at the report. This is just, I'm just highlighting those diseases alone. Tumors, breast cancer, heart disease, leukemia, allergies, depression, nerve damage, most importantly, sleep disorder, and sperm abnormalities. All of these things are because of electromagnetic field radiation. What is this electromagnetic field radiation? Where is this coming down from? We all know we are spending time in front of, in, in, in sunlight. So the visible light frequency is the entire thing. But there you would find that in the leftmost, we have what is called as HEV, high energy blue. You will find that in high energy, you will find they are the one which is going to be really giving us a trouble. So high energy visible frequency. And this blue light, what happens is, I'll just show you, um, last time, uh, of course, I did a lot of study, but this time, because we had complete focus on this particular product, I have been doing quite a lot of extensive studies, and I will show where I studied and what I studied also. Okay, The blue light is becoming a problem. Let me explain to you the reason. Okay, the eye works with a simple way when light penetrates the eyes, which is received by the cells and that cell tells the brain, this is the color. And then it actually goes to a bleach state. It goes to a bleach state, which means you would find that until once again, it is getting ready for color receiving, it, was, it will not be active. So I'm repeating once again, the science behind this is, when color, when a light goes inside and strikes the retina, the cell that receives that signals the brain, this is the color, and then it bleaches itself, it loses, which means when it's in the bleed state, it cannot function. And there is a cycle, the metabolism cycle, once again, will give life to that particular cell so that it can receive the color once again. But when we receive blue light when the blue light is received by the cells of course it signals the brain that's a blue color 
before it can bleach once again the cells become active now that is the potential danger which science is bothered about okay cool now this not only you would find that it just reaches it also can do what is called as a macular degeneration macular degeneration is the eyes losing its power that happens by age it's called as am there's going to mean age because of the age there is a macular degeneration but what is happening this this age related macular degeneration is happening at a much much younger age because of this particular blue light and when 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 the science has been studying about the blue light that is in nature and the blue light what is used by the devices there is a huge difference in terms of the frequency now that is where it matters so when you expose ourselves when we expose ourselves to sunlight the amount of damage is absolutely negligible absolutely negligible but because we don't look at the sunlight directly we don't look at the sun it's only the reflection which we see but here when we talk about these tube lights and this fluorescent lamps and the computer screens and the mobile phone and smartphone screens we look into that and where you will find that the blue light straight goes into the eyes that is what we are supposed to remember we should we cannot blame the nature because we don't look at the sun we always see only the reflection we see a tree we see a building we see human being we see vehicles we see sea that is exactly which means the light is only reflection what we see we don't look at the sun but here we are looking at these devices straight and the blue eyes are moving straight onto your eyes i hope you understand the seriousness behind this okay now commonly if you find i ask these questions do you experience any of this following any time i train for example i have felt it i felt it often when i was not using this uh, uh, this particular glasses okay in fact you can see like what has happened to metas because i have not used it you can just see fine it's kind of broken and i was using this i often do this i always keep it when and this i will do i st i remember doing this but after using this i have not i don't remove it at all because the eye does not have the strain which i used to get earlier i fatigue eye is becoming tired dry eyes is a very very but i i told you last time i checked up with the pharmacy the pharmacy gives information yes the amount of dry eye solutions movement is on the increase is on the increase year by year blurry vision headaches and the last the most important thing sleeplessness let's understand the signs behind it let's understand once again the signs behind it when there is blue light the body secretes what is which will keep you alive which will keep you kicking but when it becomes dark that is when there is no blue light the body should generate melatonin which would put you to sleep listen carefully there is 100% science behind it why human beings are not supposed to be in the man made light the unnatural light your body rhythm is when there is blue light it keeps you active when the sun sets when the blue light is no more available the body starts generating melatonin and that has to be there to make you sleep but what are we doing the moment at 6 o'clock once it becomes little little dark we keep all the lights on which means the body is not going to produce that particular melatonin and people you will find that people like us who are professionals continue to use these devices continuously for example i i'm i'm right now i'm using this and after after the session 7 o'clock 7 to 7:30 i might not use it 7:30 to 8:30 i'm going to use this so which means we are unknowingly we have been doing this but what i have been what i found was when i started using this glasses i do not have problem with my sleeping trust me i do not have problems with my sleeping this tossing does not happen with me i go maybe 10 15 minutes i sleep off 
because insomnia is the biggest issue what we are facing today because when your body cannot be given proper rest that gives tremendous amount of trouble huge amount of problem because of the insomnia so don't bother if you have any of these things because not only you are in trouble there are 70% of the people who have this trouble because they are exposed to all what we are i'm once again repeating i am not blaming the computers i am not blaming the televisions i am not blaming the uh, smartphones or the mobile phones i'm talking about the entire light what we are using which means the potential market is not only for people who are actually using computers who are using mobile phones the potential market for us is every house which has a tube light understand that we we should not talk about computer users we should be bothered about anybody who has tube lights at home fluorescent lamps the fluorescent lamps generate uv ultraviolet rays i'm repeating loud and clear the I mean the earlier lights generated heat but these fluorescent lamps i'm talking about tube light and the compact fluorescent bulbs generate ultraviolet rays okay you don't have to be close to that but ultraviolet rays are there simple it is there and it is hurting our eyes and next question how much amount money are we spending and second information let me tell you if you want to have tube um, if i tell you people stop using tube lights practically i know it's not going to happen but at least change once in 3 months take it seriously very seriously i am not marketing any specific bulb company let's make it clear if you definitely we all have to live under tube light but this i have been doing for quite long years in my house i keep changing them once in 3 months the budget is not going to be hurting because you would find that the amount of problem what it can give you even including your skin is much much better how much money are we spending do you think the money what we are going to spend is going to come down definitely not the cost of the mobile phone is increasing the phones are becoming better and better and better i found uh, recently i just found one of the samsung ad Uh, i was very impressed about the way how they introduced and i just want to check the dot it was a lakh if somebody can buy a mobile phone for 1 lakh rupee a simple smartphone is 12000 rupees today will that come down it is not going to come down it is going to go high so let's understand that but what we do is we take care of the devices we have a screen guard we have gorilla guard we have all sort of guards for it. all of us will have okay definitely will have but if you ask yourself do you have any sort of a protection for your eyes that is the market for us that is the market for us i'm telling you we need to protect our eyes of us and our family members i'm repeating once again the market potential does not start only with people who are mobile users anybody who is at home in case if you are interested in their eye health please make everybody use that in here i would like because as i'm talking about my family um my brother in law <clears throat> he had a cataract surgery recently he not only had a cataract he had a torn retina he had a torn retina so he had an operation so when he had to go for a verification they found that his ocular pressure was very high trust me i cannot i cannot use my brother in law's name and tell a blatant lie he had a heavy he had a very high ocular pressure my cousin is an eye specialist in trichy he said nothing can be done unless and until his ocular pressure becomes all right okay i presented him uh on february he has been using february and march two weeks back he went to trichy shockingly his ocular pressure was absolutely normal trust me absolutely normal my sister immediately gave the presentation of k ion to him 
immediately he said please ramesh read this this is exactly what is the reason behind so we need a screen but we don't have let us start moving that up front can we protect from this yes we can protect we can protect how do we protect okay that's exactly the, that's exactly the solution this the solution t h e the solution now for example let me just show you if lot of people hey this is not correct i will just show you a small change in the screen look in my screen you will find when there is a night light option are you able to see the screen changing now it is becoming much lighter that is called as a night light option why is microsoft giving this to us because microsoft knows that it is a trouble try to understand we are not talking something which is not truth Microsoft gives this Mac Mac operating system along with the machine they provide this facility, which means what we are saying is one hundred percent truth. Okay, are you able to see the difference? I will change this. Now you can see it becomes much brighter. So we are not joking. We are very serious about what we are talking, and we are not talking about neo science. We are talking about pure science. There are three options for us. Clearly, okay. One for prescription users, and other for non-prescription users. What do you mean prescription users? People who have power in their eyes. What should they use? And people who do not have a power, even if they have some mild power of point two five or point five, ask them to use this. Trust me, ask them to use this. I'm clearly saying this. I don't use this anymore. i don't use this i thought this may be required for my driving fine i have i i drove down to Chen, from coimbatore to chennai two weeks back i was not using this seriously but i had this i thought i might need it but i found that it does not necessary for me at all including night driving and it believe me night driving was absolutely comfortable with this particular glasses cool good so the three versions of three difference in these things okay on nano 7 not only in the shape okay it's in the material also okay on nano 5 and okay on nano let's go through one by one what is the technology behind this okay now the technologies you would find that i'm, I'm going to show, i mean this as, as i said we are going to go very slowly i'm also going to show you where i have read this i'm going to show you that i'm going to show you page by page information where i have read i i have also talked to some doctors also okay so what is this ion 7 have it has a titanium frame okay and this titanium frame if you I mean the people who are using you will know there is a small bend in this if you look at it you will be able to understand the bend is to adjust the size it is not ornamental the bend is to adjust your size okay you will find normally this can this this particular size will be very comfortable for even kids but in case if somebody wants to have it enlarged you can take it to an optician and he will help you adjust it so that you will find that becomes much larger so it is there is a reason behind everything okay and next it is very light anti rust titanium and hypoallergenic these are the features of k ion nano 7 okay the what are the features for all of them first far infrared ray second negative ions third it's an anti uv i'm repeating anti uv you should talk about this anti uv don't talk only about anti blue ray it is anti uv because the tube lights and the cfl what we use at home generates uv please protect your family members because there are certain parts you would find that you cannot replace one of them is i it's a anti blue ray and it's anti fog as well as you would find that the last thing is nanotechnology what is what is the benefit of nanotechnology precision manufacturing normally you would find that when they manufactured without the nanotechnology there may be subtle differences between the products 
but when we involve nanotechnology absolute precision manufacturing now <clears throat> look at the statement this is once again from a report it says the majority problem of vision impairment majority problem is because of hypoxia what is hypoxia hypoxia is lack of oxygen and that that is because we we talked about the reactive oxygen species when we when we when when your when your surrounding is generating free radical and that is actually happening in your eyes that is going to eat up a lot of oxygen so we need to come out of this oxygen problem who will help us negative ions negative ions is the answer for oxygenation we talk about negative ions so much where does it come down from we have two type of ions positive ions and negative ions positive ions are bad it is a mood breaker it makes your metabolism of the body suffer but negative ions you would find that it enhances flow of oxygen across the body it helps your it helps your body tip to toe and where do we get it naturally you get it from forests and whenever water falls on a ground it generates negative ions who are the other people thermal and titanium okay look at the, look at look at the positiveness of power of negative ions it restores the elasticity of capillaries and patency of this that is it will be keeping it wider so that the micro circulation can be made better and you very well know your eyes have got so much amount of micro circulation requirement it promotes cell activation because it's very simple thing cell being good your body is going to be good once again it works on the it makes your blood circulation the best and the next is now for example how do we measure it i have shown this earlier there are two images you may be shocked what is the difference between first image and second image the first image okay was done in this environment having all these devices around me okay i have two mobile phones and i have uh, a camera i have uh, one usb hub i have one writing tablet i have two keyboards i have a laptop i have a mic all these surrounded would be generating negative ions sorry positive ions so when i tested it was showing 100 1207 but no there was a small feeling that's too small because i was talking about 1500 so when i just went away from here to the bedroom and when i tested 1500 then you can imagine the amount of positive ions surrounding me minute by minute so we have to have these products okay not only this we'll talk about much more products also okay and next is going to be the far infrared ray far infrared ray is mean is is close to the infrared talk mean talking about red and then say infrared normally what is used for the the remote and a far infrared little away now what is the importance of far infrared ray far infrared ray has the capacity of penetrating our body because generally in generally when lights falls on you it just reflects or it just enters your body and goes away for example x ray enters your body and goes away gamma rays x ray enters your body and goes away but far infrared ray can penetrate and the science behind that is resonance the frequency of far infrared ray and the frequency of water molecules are like each other so what happens the water molecules are made to vibrate and they work better and we know the body is 70% of water so once your water molecules are becoming active once again the blood circulation becomes much much better and let's look at some of the reports of far infrared ray okay far infrared ray are universally present okay and it's a great healing source it talks about fas effect on metabolism various hormones and enzymes not only that titanium enhances the delivery of far to the body now that is the difference between the two models what we have one is rubberized and other is titanium okay so the second question the uh, uh, mean uh, when i i i added this slide because when i was talking to a friend he he wanted to know how does this happen scientifically there are three ways energy can get transformed conduction on a metal 
convection on a liquid and radiation is in air so far fundamentally works on the radiation principle and look at this please all these things i have taken only from reports which are from pubmed you will find that public you will find that is basically like on medicine governments one common use of infrared ray technology in hospitals is the basically for neonatal beds that is specifically uh, babies who are born earlier premature babies and some of them include arthritis generally talking about and stiffness in body stiffness and carpal tunnel syndrome a very very major problem once again you would find that blood circulation and look at the report for bone growth for bone growth you would find that when they don't use fir and when they use fir from various options you would find that the black what you see they have used fir on different things using ceramics okay using uh, uh, okay i mean uh, titanium various methods they have used you would find that every one of them but there is a remarkable difference between when you don't use fir and when we use fir single treatment using far infrared ray light improves blood flow conditions in fistula this once again you would find that pubmed talking about a public med you will find that's purely once again medicinal usage and india is number 2 in the mobile usage then you can imagine the amount of market we have the amount of market we have and look at the number of mobile phones what we have how much we have grown in 2022 we are going to have 6648 million which means you would find that we're talking about 66 crores and every house that uses a tube light requires protection for eyes so generally what are the problems what people face myopia i'm talking about now this is highly technical in terms of eye diseases earlier i was talking about generally eye fatigue dryness and uh, or maybe like uh, eye strain okay sleeplessness but this talks purely diseases of eyes myopia astigmatism okay once again uh, plus myopia this is a very very important thing elevated intraocular pressure once again i'll just show you a report which clearly says there is always a problem for people who have had cataract i'm repeating people who have had cataract they require this that's exactly in fact you would find that uh, i am not having time to go and meet my cousin personally we are planning to meet and explain him because you would find that being a being an ophthalmologist he would be able to understand much better cataract i am glaucoma now these are fundamentally you're talking about problems eyes in terms of diseases so these people need to protect them from these things blue rays from uv from lack of oxygen problem and electromagnetic radiation and macular degeneration and what is the answer this is the answer there are three options for us now let's look at this what is the difference between nano 7 and 5 the material that been we use is titanium and in nano 5 it is rubberized so only thing is you would find that the way how you can handle this and the shape of that also is little different it will you will find that whatever is suitable in terms of their age you can ask them to choose two options okay non prescription users please go through this very very carefully very important because you would find that uh for for uh, prescription users that does not have the anti blue ray because there's the specs the glasses what has been used cannot be used in that they will be replacing it with their power glasses so you would find that if they are i wouldn't i wouldn't say anything wrong in case they can just overlap the glasses and what are the other products in terms of technology what are the other products we will find that the same technology is on all the other products okay i'm i'm not talking about uh, okay so the far infrared ray and negative ions the same technology is available on our ipanty 
and on eye brief or socks and the wristband so all these four of them also have the same technology but today my trust is on k ion these also have the technology but you would find that the trust is on k ion nano okay now let me just show you uh, because i mean normally I mean uh, sharanya always says that i do a lot of studies okay i do okay and let me just show you how where did this all these studies happen so that that will be helpful for us okay i want you to slowly go through one by one okay the first thing all I mean this is exactly what I mean before i come to a conclusion before i talk anything i do a lot of reading this clearly says the blue light of computers tv smartphones and tablets are not ideal for our eyesight this has long been known experts believe that damages the retina by accelerating the onset of maculopathies that is the disease that are generally age related understand that are generally age related okay but is happening much much earlier than then okay what exactly happens what exactly happens is remember we talked about okay um okay cool <clears throat> when the eye enters sorry when the light enters the eye the receptors receive the light and they do the chemical reaction listen carefully there's a chemical reaction happening in that and then it informs the brain what is the color after that there has to be some more chemical reaction to make it ready um, this is a 100% chemical reaction that is where the problem is this 100% chemical reaction but what happens is when the blue lights enter the cells does not complete the process of the conversion but it starts working once again now that is where it becomes very dangerous very very dangerous okay and about when place when you talked about tube light people don't believe okay this is about just simple tube lights okay look at it it talks about specifically autism epilepsy lupus related to skin next see experts think digital eye strain or computer vision syndrome affects about 50% blue light may also damage our retinas it's called as phototoxicity next how should you protect this very clear thing okay now that's what i said <clears throat> the device is manufactured let me now i think i'll be able to show you much better okay because i'm not in my, in my projection you can just see here the moment i keep my light light on my skin my screen goes little dull there is control on the blue my my screen is entirely different but this is what they are asking you to use so either the computer can have the facility what about a tv yes tvs that are expensive has this facility TVs that are very very expensive has this facility. You can switch between that you are going to be having a night mode. But instead of doing that, why can't we just use this and save our eyes? Next, where are the blue light coming from? It clearly says fluorescent light, CFL, LED, and finally it talks about televisions and computer monitors. but what we have been saying is it is the problem because of the phones no it is problem because of the lights what we are using at home and when we talk about cfl there are two type of cfl one is single and double i'll just show you at the end okay and that also you will find because i might i might have to move the screen little bit okay okay look at it this is once again from public health from government oxidative stress 
injury of the retina that is you would find that when you when, when we have when we when we have too much amount of problem with the the the, uh, the ROAs that is reactive oxygen species we have a problem how should we use the clearly says use a blue filter app and you know what's the cost of that fifty dollars which is four thousand rupees and it is not it is only for one device but when you use this glass you are you can move around you are much better in terms of not only in front of your 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 uh, smartphones smartphones computers tv and when you are moving in your house you need to protect yourself this is what's called the age related macular degeneration it i'll read for you. exposure to blue light has been linked to the development of age related macular degeneration at the age of 60 yes there's going to be a degeneration at the age of 70 yes there's going to be a degeneration because you're getting older and you can see there's growing medical evidence that blue light exposure may cause permanent eye damage <clears throat> Now, this is about sleep. What I explained to you. When you have blue light from sun, your body knows it has got to be perfect. It's got to work. But the moment it becomes dark, now the body knows you're supposed to go to rest and it starts making melatonin. And these lights are going to suppress it. Now, that's, that's a, that gives a very serious problems because of the uh, insomnia. And people have to take tablets. Okay, and you know what? What we do, we carry the mobile phone to the bed, and we keep doing the damage, keeping it close. Kids, you have to save them. Oxidative stress, once again, oxidative stress and free radical damage. I'm repeating again and again. So these are the problems where you would find that we can save ourselves. And this is about a hospital. How would how should the hospital lighting be? This comes from Philips. This is once again about this is about talking about the entire industry. How much amount of light should be used in an industry in an office? Okay, I'm just moving my uh, camera a little bit. Second, I'll leave it. And this is the software I talked about. And this is a very important thing. Okay, I, when I went through this, I was shocked. The amount of problems what they talk is extremely high extremely high the number of diseases what they say because of this is extremely high and this is what i want to talk about there are two type of lights okay if at all you want to use it use the second one not the first one the first one is what is called as the CFL, compact uh, fluorescent light, but it is definitely much better than the tube lights. There's no doubt about it. Okay, but the second one is called double envelope CFL. If at all you want to use this in your office, in your home, the second one. So, the amount of uh, time which I had spent on talking all these things this time has been much, much higher. Okay, in fact, I would find that like. I had spent a lot of time this time. Of course, I had a lot of time, so I, I had spent it. Okay, now let's go back. So, what about the, the measurement of all these devices? Also, look at it now. Okay, you would find brief and eye panty. Okay, the socks and the socks, what I had used, this is basically four years old. Okay, in spite of that, I still had the same reading. And the material, the material used by our company for the eye panty and eye brief is also going to be very, very important. Last time I talked about how cotton is sometimes very dangerous. This is, this is a microfiber which will protect you from any sort of bacteria or virus. The antibacterial fiber. Clear? So, and wristband. Finally, as usual, you will find that like people ask question, where does it come down from? The wristband has got tourmaline, remember. And it protects you from all the devices. I always keep saying this by use, gain the benefits, speak from your heart, 
and then you would be able to sell successfully okay and not only this you will also find we have this also so we have totally uh, seven different products based on far infrared ray and negative ions and i don't have to say this the healthy way to well they living is kelic okay yeah welcome to questions please welcome to questions yeah can if there is any questions you can put in the chat any questions any doubt <clears throat> honestly okay yeah we have 8 minutes yes sir yes. i do a small summarization i'm repeating once again when we talk to people okay in fact i was also searching out for some uh, uv uh, measurement uh, meters i found it was a little too expensive uh, it was around uh, more than 4 lakhs so i decided not to buy it okay so Can otherwise you, you would find... class of iron nano with water sir uh, i i don't know uh, i need to just check it out <laughs> yes. let's test it out any questions please but i'm remaining once again it is just not the computers it is just not the laptops it is just not uh, the smartphones it is the lights which we are using at home they also are damaging so we will find that we need to protect from them i'm repeating it has uv it has uv ultraviolet rays shockingly speaking i did not know about this i knew that this artificial lights are not good but i did not know that it has uv which means even at home where this yes questions please you can while traveling in bike also you can wear no sir yeah, you have to you should seriously excellent uh, yes. sir for some people they think that thing only in while sitting in front of uh, using phone or one when they were sent, sit in front of digital device they use but even while traveling also we can wear this while uh, yes, you travel in bike also exactly you can yes and yes. you will find that definitely it helps specifically when you are driving your four wheeler or a two wheeler with the biggest menace what we fail is what we see is that that white led lamps i'm telling you once again the white led lamps which you would find that i don't know how government has accepted it as a good standard it is so harmful for the eyes and it it actually blinds you but when you use this glasses you would find that when you are driving your vision becomes much 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 better and there's one more thing which i would like to add when i read an article okay during a cataract when they place a lens inside there is a suggestion not to use the current technology they ask they are asking is little yellowish color seriously little yellowish color lens they are asking you to replace so that you would find that because people who have had cataract problems i'm repeating people who have had cataract problems are more susceptible for this particular blue ray problem so the suggestion from them is you would find that they have asked us to keep a lens which has got a light tint of yellow color so when you see them it would be little different but it saves your eyes that's exactly the most important thing and can we induce power in our ki and nano so yes you can yes. you yes. can yes. you can yes. you can exactly whatever nano they want they, they prefer they can use their power in it uh, uh yeah i mean uh, chakrabarty uh, sir like you can you can use the third option ki ion nano and you can use that you can buy that and you can you can use your power glasses inside that like for example how sham is using Yes. Yes, sir. Maybe Sham. In case if we can show your uh, glasses a little closer. Yes, already he said. Sir, yeah. The... You can see like Sham is using that, and he has got power. Yes. And he is using it progressive also. Yes, sir. But it was a very effective product, sir. only after uh, listening to you, because already we had a session about this so after that <clears throat> that session only even i come to know that this much benefits there were many more benefits in this product and even i started using it definitely in the next session many more people they also they will come through this uh, iron nano and they also they'll start using this iron nano sir start using this buy for everybody at home yes yes sir definitely it will happen sir so now as as we said earlier so we will have a so I, sham sir he wanted to talk sir You are on mute, Sham. Sham, you are on mute. No, sir. We wanted to make him as co-host so that he can join, sir. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, now you can unmute and you can talk, sir. Okay. Thank you, Sridhar. It was wonderful representation. See, my mine is not uh, <coughs> the nano ion uh, specs, uh, the seven, the new one. <coughs> mine is the previous one. Of course, I am using this uh, prescribed glasses over here. What I suggest is, you know, but I am proud of telling that uh, this product is going to change the profile of K-Link India altogether. There is one product what we have in K-Link India. On one side, it is going to create a, an identity. Previously, there used to be one energy touch. What we used to wear across all the people used to wear this energy touch in their pockets. That was an identity. <coughs> that was an identity for Kaling distributors. Same way, this nano and specs is going to be the identity for all the Kaling distributors. So the previous uh, energy touch could only be used by mail openly. We wouldn't know whether uh, the ladies were using it or not. But as far as the specs is concerned, every one of us, every Kaling distributor, every member of the Kaling distributor can use this nano specs by protecting their eyes. They can enhance their business. They can bring a sort of identity. Similar, you know, there's a similarity. Uh, a, a oneness can be, you know, raised among the Kaling distributors. This is what required now. You can look at any Kaling distributor, he will be wearing this glass, whether you have to wear a glass or not. This, because everyone is using a mobile phone. Everyone is, you see, I'm <laughs> using my mobile phone. I'm driving a car now. I'm sitting inside a car. I am using my mobile phone and my mobile phone is exactly one foot away from me. One foot away from me. I've been watching, you know, very recently I have traveled to Chennai. I could see all the passengers in the train uh, you know, we're using mobile phone at a time. Either they're speaking or they're uh, uh, watching at some uh, uh, some program or WhatsApp or whatever it is. So everyone is keeping this mobile phone one foot away from their eyes. Very, very dangerous it is. Whether it is dangerous or not, it is not good for the eyes. You know, we are the, the mobile is entertaining us. At the same time, mobile is stressing our eyes. On one side, it is entertaining us. The other, other side, it is, you know, it's a threat for our eyes, for our brain. So let the mobile, you know, Kaling distributors know the importance of this product. This product can make every Kaling distributor rich. Yes. Every Kaling distributor rich. Absolutely no, no, no competition for competitors for us. You know, right now, Tomorrow, because of this, as we have Kinotakra being copied by many other companies, tomorrow there may be thousands of companies mushrooming here and there, copying mm -hmm. our product. But we have got genuine specs with us. I am telling you, my dear friends, all Kaling family members, I am telling you, this product is going to change your, what's called, fortune. Provided you start using this openly, required by you, okay, everyone in your family, every acquaintance of you require this product, start promoting this, sell at least 1,000 pieces of this glass and make 10 lakh rupees just as mobile, what's called retail profit in this. Just sell. The cost is 1,000, 4,810 rupees. Okay? And once, I know you get a good profit out of this also. So I have decided to sell 1,000 pieces of this this year. I am planning to make 10 lakh rupees out of this this year. How many of you are ready to do the same strategy? So let us change the game plan. Let us go ahead with this nano and specs five and seven. Wish you all success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Definitely. Thank you, Shyam. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shyam, sir. And thank you, Sridhar, sir, because you take, you take more effort in explaining about this product. And thank you, Shyam, sir, because definitely this iron nano five and seven, it is going to rock the market. And this is good. This product will definitely boost everybody's business, sir. Thank you all and thank you so much, sir. And in the coming days, there are many, many more sessions. So uh, next week on 12th, there was sir, a... One more thing to tell you. Yes, sir. My dear uh, uh, Kaling brothers and sisters, kindly wear the specs, take photographs, show a thumbs up, say something about the specs and send it to Saranya Madam. Let us make a big uh, move in promoting this, uh, uh, this product, wonderful product. The human beings require this across yes. the world. 
So please take some photos, send it to Miss uh, Saranya Madam. It will be an asset for every individual. Using itself, using this product itself, itself can, uh, can be a, the best testimony. Okay, thank you very much. Sarana. So it was really a fantastic uh, session because I, we should say many more thanks to Mr. Sridhar R. Mukasamy because he, whenever when we join this health awareness talk, we get more information about the product. So more information means because he does more research for us and he says in such a way that we can also present this uh, when somebody, when we are approaching any customers. So he's the way he says, the way he conveys, this would be helpful for us to say about the product. So thank you all and thank you Sham sir and once again I would like to thank all the members who have joined today and because in the coming days there are many more sessions which we are going to we are going to have through this health awareness talk so don't miss it and please forward all the posters and link to the members whoever is joining so thank you all and I once again I wanted to thank Kaling management and our Kaling India director Mr. Jagrish and Subramaniam so thank you all and thank you so much.